This is Selena Gomez from Only Murders in the Building. When you're a part of such a series that means a lot to a lot of people, there's this pressure of wanting to make sure that you're delivering and if anything, you want to beat what you've done, which seems like it could be impossible, but the team of people that we have from the writers, directors, and obviously Steve and Marty, they constantly are surprising me with the storylines and the and mystery of it all. From the beginning, they were open to the idea of me being a part of creating Mabel. And when we had the first discussion of who she was, I had just gotten back from CrimeCon and we just ended up talking about me being into this as a character and how would I dress to how would I say that and I worked really hard but I'm very lucky that they picked me. This has changed my life for the better. When I was leaving LA to shoot the first season, I was worried that I'd be a little lonely. You know, I'd be on set and most of the time I would be with Steve and Marty who I had only met briefly on Zoom and they were the sweetest and the moment I got on set, they just made me feel included. They asked questions about my character and they valued my opinion. And then eventually they kind of just took me under their wing and make me laugh and have words of wisdom when I needed them. I hope to be as funny as they are one day. All of the fear of me feeling like I would be lonely went away. I was just watching videos of them on the way here and I got emotional because I'm like, those are my guys. <laughs> like some of my best friends are 70 year olds. I don't think I need to explain why, but I should do the texting for the group. <laughs> the slow motion part felt unbelievably unnatural to me. And so I struggled with it because I don't feel like Mabel would really be into that. So I tried to play it off as a character choice and it took us so long to shoot that scene because it was just hysterical. Every take they were doing the weirdest stuff and I just would barely move because I didn't want to look like them. <laughs> it was really fun though. I think the older I've gotten, the more I've understood that this is my job and this is what I want to do with my life. So I want to enjoy it and I make time for the things that are important. And, you know, this is a perfect example. I just wrapped my show and I'm spending one week with my family. Then I'm going off to Paris and then I'll come and return back to them. But I'll be working on my album at the same time. So I have to do it all. Right now, that's just how I function. Maybe when I get older, I will be different, but I just want to do so many cool things with so many awesome people.